Hello guys and welcome to FIFA 20. Yeah, sorry about my voice and everything. I'm full of man flu and, and stuff like that. So first of all, apologize, nibbles, all that stuff. Sounds like I've got a cork shoved up my nose, whatever. So apologize firstly for that, but you know, these things are sent to try us, aren't they? Like, you know what I mean? This basically, this video is my first look at FIFA 20. Can it be better than FIFA 19? I can't see why not, because FIFA 19 was a bag of dog doo-doo wasn't it really um but anyway let's get into this this is the first well it's not the first thing first of all like you get forced into having to play volta which i skipped because i'm not here to play volta um you know like on last year where you got forced not for well yeah you kind of forced into a champions league game final type thing you play that and then it gets into this well it forces you into a Volta game and I just quit straight away so um i'm not here for volta um i think a lot of EA people think that everyone was crying out for it. No, they were crying out for FIFA Street and Volta is not that, like, you know what I mean? And so, you just basically put it in to replace um, the journey. As you can see in the video, it's basically replaced the journey slot over there and um, where the journey was. Um, there is a small little journey within Volta as well, but I won't be doing that unless you guys really want me to do that, but I can't see why you would. Yeah, it, it's, it's just going to be another EA's way of trying to say oh we've been working on this is what you've been crying out for and it's not we've been crying out for career mode updates and i don't mean like the little piddly things that you've done this year um to try and like appease us it's nice that you have done something but again it's it's nowhere near what what is expected of that mode and um, you just literally dumped it in the bin as soon as you started the journey instead of what you should have done is had a combination of the two made the journey career mode a kind of similar thing with all that story element kind of within it you got to maybe create your own character or you got to create your own manager and then you went through it in that way and it became your own journey that would have been a much better um, thing i think you'll find that from a lot of fifa fans that would have said the same but anyway trying to be positive um I was very negative in regards to FIFA 19, along with a lot of you, um, so it wasn't like in a minority or anything like that. I'm in the process, if you're new to the channel, playing PES 2020 and absolutely loving it. It's got fantastic gameplay and they've done some really good stuff with it. There are faults, don't get me wrong, PES isn't brilliant, like, you know what I mean? Far from it, like, you know what I mean? PES needs work as well. Both of these games need work, like, you know? And when they turn around and they say, like, they, they listen to the community, what you are getting from that is they are listening but they're not taking that information in and then doing something about it they're just literally listening to it and then it's like all right well we listened you know and there you go like sort of thing so right then let's have a, a wander about in this i'm not necessarily going to be starting career mode in in this video um but we'll just we'll have a look around and, and see what what's available um with regards to what they've maybe changed and stuff like that. as you can see nothing really changed here we've got the little accessibility thing still down there which um is the same as um what it was last time <sighs> Okay, uh, looks like uh, Mr. Felix has now replaced um, Vinicius. Okay, um, yeah, this is all the same. Nothing new here, uh, nothing to see. Um, <laughs> doesn't look like anything new there. This is all the same. And um, this is pretty much the same career mode, it's kind of been shoved. It's get, you notice how it's getting shoved further? Yeah, it's getting shoved further along now. It should career mode should be right there, not Volta. Volta should be a little small tile down here somewhere out the friggin' way. That's where it should be. Um don't try and like throw all that crap on us. Like you always do with your like crappy adverts trying to push all this like you do with this th mode here with Ultimate Team. Um I can see that you're gonna try and do the same with Volta, but anyway. Um settings, uh there are, wait a minute, no, that's not the settings I wanted to show you. There are a few little um, extra things within the settings. You've got this jockey thing now. I don't, I don't remember that being in, um, I don't remember that being in FIFA 19 at all. Like, And then this ball with relative right stick switching or player relative. I'm not entirely sure which is going to be best or not. I think that's just going to be a case of play in flick around and try and mess about with stuff like that again you've got another thing down here with the pass receiver lock yeah not sure on that one either late or early you've got with that pass receiver is locked as late as possible close to the time when the ball is kicked 
Um, don't know. Again, not sure what that is. That's going to be probably something that we'll get into. Um, as you can hear, no music. Oh, well, my own music, um, because the music in this game is terrible, but I don't listen to the music in this game because of copyright stuff anyway, so uh, there won't be any music um, in this. Like, I mean, let's have a quick butchers at the teams. Let's see, there's Liverpool. Um, that's pretty much how you'd expect maybe Gomez to replace your Matic, but you'd expect that. Let's go back to like Bournemouth, it should be. Yeah, there we go. Bournemouth's team. Line up, I mean, obviously it's Premier League we're looking at here. Um, uh, Arsenal's, yeah. I'll just quickly go through these. You want to pause on your particular team, but you're going to get to play the game anyway, aren't you? Like, you know what I mean? So, when it comes down to it, I'm just having a look. See, I mean, I like, don't get me wrong. Um, I mean, they've changed the color of the menu. Wow, you know, men menu change colors, but. I mean, the menus are menus, aren't they? And I mean, FIFA did that quite well. It's something that Pez should um, definitely work on regarding stuff like this. Uh, let's have a look at League 2, where we're going to be playing as Cheltenham. Oh, there's... Hey, look at the boys. Hey. Hi, Cambridge. Um, you did so well. You did so well. Um, and here is our new lineup for this year. Cheltenham Town are going to be the youth squad team this year. Um so that should be um interesting to to play around with and see what how that that develops and stuff but well, this is new um you can have um different commentators they used to have this on fifa any of you youngsters would not know this but it used to be clive tilsley and andy townsend it used to be uh options gameplay music volume event I'm in, that's in Volta, that's 11 a side. I don't know why there's no sound in the arena when he's hitting the ball. Weird. Don't understand that. I think it's a right home about, really, with regards to just first impressions of, of this. Like, you know what I mean? But, um. Okay, then. Um. I tried to make it similar to the Liverpool Napoli situation. Mm, looks pretty much the same as 19. Yeah, it's a little bit different uh, maybe yeah, not too bad i mean it's kind of tough between pez and fifa this year which one's got the best like graphics i think i think certain players are better and certain players are bad you know what i mean well done a pretty good kit the liverpool pretty good kit the liverpool pretty good liverpool kit they've done um uh, okay he didn't make that run well done ai all right, Jesus, can't catch him. Um, not entirely sure what was um what was going on there, but it, what the hell? I keep pressing all the wrong buttons. All right, we've got money through here. It's going to lay it back there. Oh, and Hendo, typical pass from him, useless. They just seem weird. The players don't move right. There is something about them is as if they're like floating above the ground. Can't work it out, but it don't feel right. So it feel a little bit detached from the ground. It's like a weird feeling. But so far, not a massive great difference in how FIFA 19 played. I mean, I've slowed it down, obviously, so that's a difference, but making the same mistakes and apparently Milik's faster than Van Dijk, is he? No. All right. All right, doing well. Oh, someone pull back for God's sake! 
Why on earth wouldn't any of the attackers pull back to the centre, like to the centre spot there, like the penalty spot, instead of just like standing next to it? This is what annoys me with like FIFA. The AI in it is absolutely useless. They don't anticipate where they need to be in any way whatsoever. Corner's the same. Uh, and that's half time. I'd like to have a go at these free kicks and penalties, but that doesn't seem to be a thing. I'm I'm kind of happy with the, what I've managed to get the the gameplay sort of to. Um, might need a little bit of tweaks here and there, but you know that that's how it is. I mean, Manny and Salah are rapid, yet yeah, on FIFA, nah, not not happening. You know. And that's and that's what lets FIFA down. But again, FIFA isn't about that. It's about being an arcade simulator, isn't it? And there we go. Insigne is in because um, for some reason Adrian didn't want to come out, even though I was holding down white. <sighs> That just sums up, oh for fuck's sake, sums up um, this game here where it's done, you rely on the AI that you're not controlling to man See, things like that, like, you know, that pass is made on Pez, that, it's made, you know what I mean? On, on FIFA, it's always like, no, nah, no, nah, we make sure that the AI get it. You see, it bounces straight back to him. That's that is where they still haven't got things right. That's where they still haven't got things right. It's this. It's this constant BS in this game of like it just wouldn't happen. Like you know, I mean, I don't know what they're trying to do. I honestly don't understand what they're trying to make. You know, because are they trying to make a simulator? Because if they are, they're miles away. Uh, are, they, are they trying to make a, a Fortnite like arcadey thing? Because they're kind of miles away from that. Because they've got a bit of both, haven't they? They're trying to make it realistic with the graphics and stuff, but the gameplay is it's just it's just terrible. Right. Well, there was a little game. Um, I kept it realistic by making the score line the same, which I think you know is something. <laughs> it's uh, first impressions. It's better than nineteen. But by that much, um, they've got a hell of a lot of work to do with this game, and um, they're not going to. That's the, that's what it comes down to. Um, in their eyes, their biggest thing now is going to be this over here, which I've seen. Where is it? Express yourself. Earn all the just here. Earn all these items before the next drop starts. Right? What's the betting that? If Volta takes off and all the little kiddie winks that love Volta, they've never played Street FIFA Street before and they think it's wonderful and they think it's new and you can dress your player up and it's all Fortnite-y because you can get all these outfits for him. If that does well, they will monetize the shit out of that. And that will be Volta monetized, Ultimate Team monetized, Bye Bye Pro Clubs, Bye Bye Career Mode, and that will become FIFA. There we go. That's my first impressions of FIFA 20. Um, we will start um, our Liverpool career mode um, on Monday. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, well, I might even start it over the weekend. It all depends how I feel. I feel like, obviously, I feel like shit. Like, you know what I mean? So, um, but what will happen is um, I'll play it by ear. Uh, kind of down to you guys. What do you want to see more of? More episodes of FIFA, more episodes of Pez, um, and we'll and we'll do that, and um, and we'll take it from there. Um, FIFA is hard at work, along with Aaron Actu on the mods and stuff. Um, but like I say, I'll do a season with Liverpool, maybe one, two at the most, um, and then we'll get Cheltenham off and running, and that's what we'll do. Um, um, and see how the U squad does this year. Yeah, let's see. That's all I can say. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. 
check out all the stuff down in the description guys there's lots of things down there to like go check out facebook pages regarding this there's like other patrons patrons in there and stuff like that and uh, go check out um corner flag games this is his fourth shout out he gets five i didn't want to shout them out on the pez one because he is mainly um well i think he's totally a, a fifa player i don't think he play i mean he plays other games but i don't think he plays pez not that i've seen anyway um, so I've decided to, to leave a couple of shout outs for the FIFA videos and here is one of them now. So go check out Corner Flag Games, thanks for his patronage um, to the channel, I massively appreciate that. If you do want to be a patron, link is obviously down in the description and stuff like that and it tells you all about it. You don't have to be, there's no forcing into it, but it makes you a little bit more involved in, in what's going on, on the channel. Um, and yeah, we'll take it from there, thumbs up would be appreciated um, and all comments I look forward to, probably going to be a lot of negative ones. Uh, I don't care really um that's my opinion fifa 20 is that much better than 19 there we go um if you're gonna mark it you give like fifa 19 a 6 out of 10 i give this a 7 out of 10 there you go um at the moment but hey you know it's early stages take it easy guys catch you on the next video um which could be the weekend it could be on monday uh, but stay tuned click the bell and you will be notified when a video goes up and um, yeah take it easy for now dave from Mumonga gaming signing off cheers